This is Maya Rahal from WAMDA, chatting with Bassam Jalga, idea holder of Dozan, live from the WAMDA offices in Beirut. Bassam is our entrepreneur of the week, for this week. Uh, hi Bassam. Hello, How I'm Maya. You? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, Dozan. Dozan is an idea I came up with about uh, three years ago. Uh, I've been playing music since I was a kid. I play on the oud, which is an Arabic uh, string musical instrument. Uh, since I was uh, I started learning playing the instrument, I noticed a problem, which is uh, tuning the instrument. It's one of the most difficult and frustrating problems one can imagine while starting to play any string instrument. So uh, this is why when I started working in electronics about six uh, six years ago, uh, the idea came up to me: why not create a solution for this problem? Why not making make something that automatically tunes the uh, any string instrument? But back then, it was just an idea. I never thought that I can actually work on it and make it as a product. Um, and it stayed as an idea, and up until the Stars of Science competition. Uh, in 2009, uh, somebody came to our university and he uh, uh, did a presentation about the Stars of Science competition. It was the first time that, uh, the first season that they were going to hold it. So, uh, so nobody knew about this, uh, this new thing. Up until I heard about it, I thought, okay, I can just apply there and see if, uh, if, uh, if my idea will, will work out. And uh, the nice thing about it is that it actually I was able to, uh, the Stars of Science provided me with enough support to transform my idea into an idea into a product. So during a period of three months, I was actually sitting in a, in a workspace with 14 contestants from the Arab world and we're all working together and we're helping each other out and also at the same time we're competing in this competition. The weird part about it is that it was a reality show and I'm not a big fan of reality shows but, uh, but it gave me a lot of experience. It gave me a lot of experience mainly of how to deal with people, how to uh, deal with people from different communities with different backgrounds, how to work with them, how to accept them. How to, uh, it, uh, it was nice all in all. So I was able to uh, develop my idea from uh, just an idea. Uh, first phase was uh, proof of concept phase. And then after that came uh, the design phase. And after that, uh, we worked on business and then marketing. And throughout all the phases, with the right support and with the right help, I was able to, uh, to, to rank the first, uh, the first in all phases. And eventually, I won the competition. So uh, this was in 2009. And winning the competition provided me with uh, good funding from Qatar Foundation. So I had the money, but back then I didn't have the experience. And especially working with hardware, because Dozan is a hardware product. So I need to build an actual physical electronics working uh, product. And uh, the, the uh, hardware in the region is, for some reason, for some, I don't know why, it's not very uh, promoted. Like, people don't just... Uh, work with hardware uh, in, in this region. The main uh, focus right now is on software and the mobile app uh, development. So this was a big problem for me. Like during, I, I had the money but I didn't know what to do with it. So I actually I was struggling uh, looking for a lawyer to work on my patent, uh, looking for support, uh, looking for uh, guidance. I need guidance. So I had lots of problems in that. Uh, eventually, bit by bit, I was able to uh, focus uh, my work, and we developed. This is this is actually we're working right now on the third pro prototype that we're uh, we are developing, and hopefully by the end of uh, by New Year we'll have the f third prototype ready, and then we can say okay, like uh, Dozan is is ready to be in the market, and I hope so. Very good. Very yeah. good. Um, and tell us a bit about your activities building a hackers community in Beirut. Mm. Um, as I said previously, a big problem is that it's, uh, in, in this region is that there is a lack of uh, hardware development and a lack of support for hardware development. Uh, for, for some reason, we, we've, we've, uh, we grew up with the idea that we cannot actually produce, we have to be consumers, we're always consuming uh, stuff that comes from abroad, and this is wrong. And uh, personally, at this stage of my life, I'm trying to change that around me, through, through my friends and everything. So, so I thought a very good idea would be to try and gather all the people who work in hardware in Beirut who are about my age, 
try to gather them in a single space and let's try all together to promote this culture, to promote and to tell people that they actually can build, they can create stuff, any idea that comes up to mind, they can just do it and we, we can provide the support for them. Mm -hmm. And this is how the idea of a hackerspace started. A hackerspace is basically something that started in Europe in the 70s and then it's now, right now it's spreading all over the world. So it's just an idea that to bring all the community, the hardware community together in a single space so that they work together and they help each other out and there will be memberships and, uh, and such. And I think this will help out especially the youth who are growing and it will give them a boost uh, to tell them, okay, like you can transform any idea that you have into reality. You just need to focus on it and you just need to learn the right uh, tools and the right uh, know-how. And uh, we knew that the hackers community organized their first event last week, which was Making Beirut event. How did True. that go and how, what's your feedback? Um, Making Beirut event was our first event and uh, it was just an exhibition of all the work that we've been doing uh, in the past uh, couple of years. Uh, we exhibited robots, we exhibited products, we exhibited ideas and uh, there was lots of attendance, people attending and the feedback was very good. I was, I was shocked actually, I didn't expect people to be that happy to see such a community working. Um, when people went inside the space, they saw all these robots moving and they saw all this weird electronic stuff happening. People were like, seriously, like this is happening in Lebanon. People are actually making these while other people are burning tires on the roads. And it's true, like people are actually doing that. And this is nice. We need to spread this. We need to spread the idea of, okay, let's, let's build stuff and let's make stuff just for fun. It doesn't have to really to be a product, but just for fun. For uh, to learn and for the experience of it, and uh, we got very good feedback. And uh, I think that uh, making Beirut version two, which is gonna be hopefully next year, is gonna be much bigger, and uh, lots of people are gonna contribute. And especially because lots of kids actually came to the exhibition and they were very excited uh, about it. So I think that they will contribute also. Great, great yeah. ideas. Uh, Bassam Jalram, thank you for chatting to Wamda. Thank you. Thank you.